All right, we're gonna go head up and pick up the trailer. Uh, it's been a couple months since we've used it and uh, figure might as well try to use the Cybertruck to uh, give it a test run. Hopefully this will be more successful than the, the last trailer. So stay tuned. So a little bit about this trailer while we go get it. Uh, I think it's a 2022 uh, Grand Design Imagine. It's a 21 foot bunkhouse, no slide outs, uh, trailer, bumper pull trailer. Uh, it's about, if I recall, it's about 40, probably 44, 4,500 pounds. So it's not very heavy. It's pretty short comparatively. Uh, so this, this truck should pull it just fine with no issues. It's a pretty new trailer, so I don't have any electrical problems with it uh, like the last one. Uh, so hoping for good luck, but we'll let you know. So we're picking this up from a friend of ours, a family friend of ours. They used to be our neighbor, and they have so kindly uh, allowed us to store it on their property. It's been quite awesome. We'll be right back. I had to go open the door. He got this shed done, the shop done. Pretty recently, it's pretty nice. up for the horses. That's hilarious. So it locked me out. That's annoying. Okay. We're gonna have the same problem. We had on the other one. Oh no, that one slides nice. It's a better start. Much better start. Oh, look at that though. The pin, it's so far recessed. You got to put it in only that way. So you have to put the pin in from the right. That's not cool for us left-handers. Otherwise, the uh, seven pin wire gets in the way. See if we got it. Oh yeah. 
very low though. I feel like we need to lift up the truck, huh? Yeah, lift the truck up a little bit. Going right back down. Have I stepped out? There it goes. I gotta pull forward just to hitch. Did it? It's kind of a pain in the ass. Some work to do there. Very nice. All right, so we got it hooked up. There were some complications you don't have with a regular truck. Uh, you know, every time I got out of the truck and closed the door, it locked me out because I had my phone trying to record. Luckily, I had my extra uh, key card, uh, so that was helpful. Uh, but I had to stop recording once because the key card was also locked inside the, the truck. Uh, another issue, I'll show you here is the leveling of the suspension kept adjusting as I put it in park. Now, I didn't have it in trailer mode, but that changing of the level continued to give me some issues getting that ball hooked up. It was just kind of annoying because uh, you'd get it set and aligned and, and then the level would be different. So that was, that was annoying, um, especially the doors locking. I know those are settings, but... Um, otherwise, I usually like those settings. So uh, maybe just being able to enable a trailer mode before I start this whole thing would be pretty nice. But uh, we'll see how it drives now. Here we go. I've got trailer mode on. Looks like they rolled out an update to using the scroll wheel as the trailer brake, so that's interesting. Um, I have the trailer alarm turned on. Adaptive regenerative braking is off right now. Uh, we'll see how braking is. I might turn that on. Uh, otherwise, I think we are going to See how this goes. Okay. Nicely controlled with the throttle. Pretty easy. Uh, one unfortunate thing is I can't use my trailer camera. Uh, 
there's a camera on the back of the trailer, but this plugs into a uh, a 12 volt uh, old school cigarette lighter. So I'm sure there's adapter either USB to or, or 110 to uh, the 12 volt, or I can get an adapter for this guy. Uh, I just didn't have that because I've never had a vehicle without a 12 volt socket. So that's interesting and new. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. All right, got to open the gate. Be right back. No gate. Let's see what this person thinks of our towing setup. Okay, how to get home, huh? Let's see what the best directions are. Yeah, I think we're gonna go that way. Okay, that seems to be working. pull over and just take a look at everything real fast. Okay, right now I'm at 80%. I only have to go, I got 11 miles, 24 minutes. <clears throat> 80%. So we'll see how this goes. Right now it's estimating I'll be at 74% when I get home. I'm at 80% now. So we'll see how true that is. Now this is mostly just 35, 40 mile per hour roads. So it shouldn't be working that hard. So we're really testing it. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. I've been sick for about six days. I've got a, about an octave below my normal high-pitched tone. But I'm only going 33 miles per hour. Um, I would say you feel it back there. I'm not going to be pushing it though. Uh, I just want to make sure I make it home and we'll do some more testing once I get this thing uh, to my house. It is funny though, the little avatar on the screen of the truck with that shows the traffic, it certainly thinks there's a big semi truck or box truck right on my bumper and it happens to just be a trailer well we got it up to 45 seems to be going okay most people are going really slow around me i think just trying to get a look so that's a bit difficult to navigate uh but one thing that's very valuable i think is when i put my blinker on to change lanes the cameras on the side of the vehicle actually do an excellent job being able to see around that trailer so the need for trailer mirrors other than while driving straight is not too bad 
but it would be nice to be able to kind of click those on. Oh, I think I can. That's not bad then. I could I could run with it like that. Seeing the left and the right. So it's really just being unable to see behind me. That's the major the major concern. It gets gets kind of whiny. It's trying to accelerate. I'm going very slow with this. Very slow acceleration. It has plenty of capability, but I am going nice and easy. Now we're at 45. Well, it seems to be going fine. Uh, somehow, I, I automatically did it. Instead of when I hit the camera icon on the, on the display, now it's showing me my left mirror, my right mirror, and then also the rear view camera, which is nice. I can see the, I can see the, the screen uh, and the trailer. Here's the view while I'm stopped. You can see the truck and then the three cameras, which is pretty handy, actually. All right, I figured it out. Next stoplight, you can just swipe down and up to do the cameras. I had no idea. So that's pretty fantastic. All right, so we're hooked up. Mike, say hi. Hi. This is my brother, Mike. All right, so we're hooked up. We're going to give it a run. I think we're going to do about a 20-mile loop. It's a very windy day. We got about wind gusts, about 30, 33 miles per hour. So it'll be a test for sure. Let's do this. Okay, so we are hooked up, but I think I need to lower our, tri our ride height. We're at high right now, and it was. This is such a boring video. Why aren't you being fun? I'm I not, mean, <clears throat> I don't know. Very fun. Very fun. All right. Well, we're hooked up, everybody. Okay. Now we're gonna go this way. All right, okay. so we have we have 84 percent or 267 miles remaining. Oops. We're hooked up. 21 foot bunkhouse trailer, 4,500 pounds. Very windy today. Uh, max winds about 33 miles an hour. Temperature outside is at 85 degrees, 71 in the Cybertruck. Let's uh, give it a shot. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> we already have I a figured I figured something out. So before we go, I unfortunately with the trailer I have a wireless camera on the back. This guy bought off Amazon. There's a bunch of them. But every car I've ever owned has had a 12 volt cigarette lighter, DC 12 volt cigarette lighter. This car does not. But I did have an old 12 volt fridge with a 110, that's a diaper. Yeah. I had a 110 plug a adapter, so we're gonna do that. And we'll see if this works. Yes. Oops, I can't keep this video. Oh, I need to, I need to turn on the outlets. Here's the big old brick of an adapter. <clears throat> I can get a better one on Amazon. This is kind of a pain, Elon. I need a light down there. Okay. That should turn on now. There we go. So no signal. Let's turn on our headlights. 
and that should give us a signal. Maybe. Three, two, one. Negative one. Negative two. You're gonna have to edit it because and then no, nope. no, that's good. I'm glad I tested. I forgot to hook up the trailer brakes. We go do that. There we go. Now we're working. So that works just fine. There we go. All right. It is very windy. Have you gotten a warning again? No, not yet. You'll know. I know I saw your video. I, I couldn't stop laughing. I was in the middle of doing what I do in the bathroom when I started laughing. <laughs> That's pretty nice, right? Have you tried since? Yeah, well, I brought it here. Okay. I don't know where you were towing at the beginning. Yeah. 15 miles. Did it yell at you and hit a certain speed or because you were going it was as too I quickly to that speed? It was as I was accelerating. <laughs> Now you go. I don't want to say. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You should have just sat back there. <laughs> How dare you? You should have sat back there. So one thing I've got here, I can get that camera. <laughs> From an acceleration point of Here, view, I'm gonna get this for you. You can get get far. You're not gonna be able to hit a stop there. Try to get the speed limit on there. Yeah, from an acceleration point of view, it's it's not yeah. even there. You feel it bouncing a little bit for sure. That's we'll good. see how the wind the wind does when we finish. I'm gonna drive it pretty pretty typically. So two miles, five minutes. 1100 watt hours is that watt hours per mile i'm not quite sure well, on the drive before it was 695. get in the other lane and you're going to get the zero to 60. yes all right i'm not, I'm not doing zero well, to you're something. going to do zero to something Accelerate kind of like I'm merging onto a freeway. How's that? It's yeah. yeah. fine. Yeah, still faster than my car. Alright, see how well you can handle the brakes. spongy yeah. very spongy with the brakes definitely give yourself room with the brakes especially while towing I've been underwhelmed with the actual brakes themselves uh, I rarely need them I can usually do one pedal driving but when I need them they're not as responsive as they really need to be your trailer again it starts flashing the tailgater you want to make a clip of that go for it it's your video <laughs> people will be like who's this guy talking <laughs> who's a new guy no
see there. I mean, I can see very well, just fine. Look at the front. That's kind of trippy. <laughs> Driven this trailer probably not quite 10,000, maybe 8,000 miles <clears throat> with an F-150, uh, the 2.7 turbo uh, EcoBoost, and my wife's Expedition Max with the 3.5 Max Tow. And it's pulled just fine with both of those. Uh, we've gone all across the country, all the way uh, from here in Arizona to Michigan and back, and it's done just fine. So I know how this trailer pulls. I know how balanced it is. And this should be no problem for this truck. And so far, that's what it feels like. Our friend in his uh, Allegro Class A from Texas. Way behind him. A little bit of caught a little bit of wind coming around that Class A motorhome going 71. But I'm pretty relaxed. Picture of us eating Bahama Bucks and having some pizza. Yeah, we got a green arrow and this guy doesn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's distracted by the what's coming up. Acceleration is fine now. I don't know what happened when I was hooked up with that other one. But it's if that never happened, I would I would I wouldn't think anything of it. Well, that's kind of cool. One of your fans was uh, waving at you. Get a lot of attention. <laughs> but I know he probably saw at mattcybertruck.com. Hashtag. You probably recognize it. Seen your videos and wanted to see that and wanted to be on one. I don't know if I got them on there. There's a group right here. Yeah, so you got another one right there. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it stops a lot. It turns a lot of heads. <clears throat> See how these brakes do, see? Yeah, it's a quick stop. Yeah, I mean, it's... Like, I gotta put my foot into it pretty good. For my seat, it doesn't feel any different than a normal stop. Not a regular stop, yeah. yeah. But I, I don't feel that, I don't feel it. Look, they're like, smiling at us. She's looking back there. <laughs> Again? Oh, yeah. Uh, have you ever been to Angie's Lobster? No, let's do it. We will not fit in the drive through Oh. It's I thought we just park in the back and go in. It's very good. You can either get, you get a lobster roll with french fries. Oh right. look, she's recording us. Here, you record her. Who is? Oh, right here behind <laughs> us? <laughs> it's great. Is it brand new? I can't put it on you. I've had it for about a month. Have you? I've yeah. never seen one. It looks awesome. Yeah, thank you. You like the drive? It's really not. It's better than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little nervous, but it's pretty good. Awesome. We're just giving it a little, uh, I see. Off. Little tug like, here. Dude, I gotta speed up so I'll catch up to this truck. Yeah, we had to play with it, so. We're testing it. <laughs> awesome, that's great. Thank you. Awesome. Guy's going for a run. Yeah. Or a swim. <laughs> they, look, they look like swim trunks. They are. Are they? It's got the, they must the flowers. Be. You know, who wears flowers like that? It's not swimsuit. Hawaiian flowers. Now you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little more confident now. Okay, you want to do another one? A little, a little we're cocky. about to turn up here, aren't we? No, we're going straight from the lot. Okay. Oh gosh. More people videoing. Everybody. I think 
think it gets even more attention with the trailer. That, that's well, yeah. for sure. Well, and then I'm holding this friggin' what is it called? It's a gimbal. Gimbal. It's a gimbal. It's a gimbal. People want to be famous. Oh, yeah. That's so weird. Oh, wait a minute. It's actually pretty distracting, to be honest. It's these guys who just sit in my blind spot for an uh, inordinate amount of time. <laughs> so it's it's a little dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I just turn red. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, I mean, I think the vehicle itself is getting smarter and more comfortable with it because it's feeling go. a little more natural. I think that's the driver. Driver for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sorry, you get no credit, Elon. Yeah, this guy wants to say hi. Uh, it's kind of silly, you know, to, to judge a vehicle's towing by its acceleration. I mean, it needs to be able to accelerate. We have the mountains here. Uh, you know, merging onto the highway, getting around something, absolutely. Uh, but the brakes could use some work. Uh, when you're towing, you want to give extra distance. You want you want your brakes to work really well. I think I should probably. When you're I, at the you steady speed do? of 50, it does let me, feel. Let me turn jumpy. that trailer brake gain up. Now that I mention all this, let me do that. We're gonna go up to. It's feel off awfully. Uh, Sketch down right now. There, I turned the trailer gain up to 5.5. It was at four. There's also a trailer brake boost. Let's see if we can beat this Hyundai Palisade. Yeah, I mean it does. <laughs> it does just fine. <laughs> what does it feel like to watch the, the trailer get towed faster than they're driving? Yeah, it's kind of unnecessary. Yeah. All right, we're coming back. We've got less than a mile to go. We're at 63%. We've got 21 miles. So we dropped 21% in 21 miles. So the math. the math on that, I've got about yeah, maybe 100 miles on a full charge down to zero. Now, it's very windy, and I was going faster than typical, and I was accelerating faster than I normally would so but if you're going through the mountains this is what you're gonna get this is definitely what you get I thought maybe you had the hot tub I was hoping for that no I just broke that down Ugh. I'm thinking about buying one actually highly recommend the Coleman four-person Salyu Spa inflatable yeah. hot tub. It's, I mean, expectations should be low, but it will exceed them. <laughs> I promise. That's it. All right. 21%, uh, 22 miles, 34 minutes. 1,092, you see that? Uh, Maybe. There you go. There you go. So 22 miles, 34 minutes, 1,092 watt hours. I think that's watt hours per mile. And I've got 1,000 miles on the odometer now. And that's it. We made it though. Welcome home. <laughs>